It's championship time and we're here for game three of the World Series between the Pacific Panthers and Desert Diamonds. Will the Panthers capture their first title of all time or can the Diamonds get back in the series? And as for my roster today, it's going to stay the same as yesterday's, me and Soren. Aiden will be here again just supporting us, but he's still injured so won't be able to play. The strategy today, I'm going to start game three. Soren will be there as a backup just in case they start tracking me, but uh, that's just safety precaution. Yeah, and we got a great turnout today. Got a bunch of guys from across the league, so it should be fun on championship Saturday. For the Diamonds, they're going to have Seth Denmark, Matthew Saban, and Declan Sabian once again. Uh, and we'll see if they can get back on track. They haven't had a hit all series. They've struggled at the plate. Seth has pitched great on the mound, but uh, just a couple of unlucky breaks have really killed them in this series. So we'll see if they can get back on track. But it's going to be tough to dig out of a 2-0 hole, so let's go out on the field for some player interviews. All right, Carson Rose, you've pretty much single-handedly won this series so far for yourself at the plate. On the mound, you and Soren have both contributed pretty equally, I would say. You guys pitched great. Um, today, how are you going to keep that up? Yeah, obviously, hitting is a big factor. We were not great in the regular season when our hitting was down, so we just need to stay on top of the ball, uh, be aggressive at the plate as we were yesterday. Uh, hope, hoping to see Soren get on base a couple more times, get some hits, be more aggressive and not chase as much. But pitching-wise, we're just going to stay the same. Haven't allowed a hit in this year's playoffs. I think we're the first team to do that, so we're going to keep that up. And I think if we don't allow a hit, it's a very low chance that we'll lose. All right. I'm here with Declan Sabian of the Desert Diamonds. You guys are facing a 2-0 deficit. First time that's happened in World Series history. How are you going to bounce back today? Um, get some hits, play good defense, and try to win the World Series. Carson Rose, Pacific Panthers. Soren Etheridge, Pacific Panthers. Seth Denmark, Desert Diamonds. Matthew Sava, Desert Diamonds. Declan Sabian, Desert Diamonds. Welcome to Championship Saturday at Rose Field for Big League Wiffle Ball. Do we have drama from the outset? The fifth seeded Pacific Panthers pulled off two victories yesterday against the number one seeded Desert Diamonds and now have a commanding 2-0 lead in this best of five series. O2. Nicks it. Down goes Denmark. Quick out for Rose. Looking sharp early. Any victory. And Carson Rose and Soren Etheridge will have their first championship. At 78, down go the Diamonds. An efficient first for Carson Rose. Biggest crowd of the season on here. Plop, good play by Saba, good job by Rose to put it in play. And that's it, quick work of Etheridge. Nice top, nice first for Denmark, and we go to the top of the second, all tied at zero. One, two. That is brutal. No hope on those pitches. Rose looking sharp early. Ooh. Oh. Hits him, and that's yeah. ball four. <laughs> Self-professed orangutan, and that's a second consecutive walk for Rose. They seem to be cruising, but that's the beauty of big league wiffle ball. You just never know when the wheels come off or a big hit's about to happen. Oh, he was on it. Just missed it. That was the pitch he was looking for again. We go to the bottom of the second. Still tied at zero. 2-2. Two -two. Look at that. Denmark gives him a different look. Down goes Rose. That's it. We go to the top of the third, top of the last. Ooh. 81. That's not a strikeout. 
It's the second excessive speed pitch of the inning, resulting in a walk for Tom. Scared. Look at Saba talking more smack than we've heard in one game than the entire year. He's not going down quietly. Until he is! It nicks the outside! What a nasty pitch from Rose! Sabian, two outs. He goes down on a ball outside the zone, and that could be it for the Diamonds. If the Panthers are able to hit a home run or scratch a run across otherwise, here we go, bottom of the last. Panthers up 2-0 in the championship series. Oh, right up the middle! Oh, great play by Denmark. Rose, good job to put it in play. And the Diamonds are going around the horn. Something we haven't seen the entire season in Big League Wiffle Ball. Saving the best for last. And the boys in orange end it right here. And they will not, and we go to the extras. And for our fans in attendance and fans around the world, we remind you that a runner starts on second in the fourth. And that's it for Denmark, who's had a tough championship series at the plate. Sabian on second. Fouls hit the zone. That's a strikeout if you foul it into any part of the zone. Tough rule in big league wiffle ball, but that's the rule. And we go to the bottom of the fourth where only one team can win. Full count to Rose. Down he goes on a nasty sinker from Denmark. And it'll be up to Etheridge for the game winner. That ball's at Copper Ridge where Aiden Sabian goes to school. Holy cow, as Harry Carey used to say, we have a new champion. The 2022 Big League Wiffle Ball Championship winners, the Pacific Panthers, the five seed. They went through the four seed, the two seed, the one seed. Oh my. All right, now the 2022 Big League Wiffle Ball World Series champions, the Pacific Panthers. Congratulations, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, you guys started the year one and eight. Uh, obviously, you bounced back very well. Uh, you guys finished the year above 500, which is insane for how that happened. No hits in the playoffs. Seven and zero record. Soren, Carson, you guys played well when Aiden joined the team. You guys started to play well as well, so George, you supported them. <laughs> what did you, what, we're gonna start with George. What did you see out of this team today that you didn't see in the past? I'm just proud, you know. I mean, I saw Carson play amazing, pitch well. So Carson and absolutely new. I'm just happy to be on this team. Yeah, Aiden, 
Obviously, you got injured. You couldn't play the playoffs, but you did help this team get back on track. Uh, you're the manager. You called yourself for the playoffs. It obviously worked. Congratulations. Uh, anything you want to say? There's some rumors this might be your last game season. Yeah, um, I might take more of an ownership role in the BLW League. And uh, I'm glad to be a Pacific Panther. And um, I'm so glad we won the championship. Uh, Soren now. Yeah. Walk off home run. Incredible performance. You played <laughs> outstanding on the mound. You really started to pitch well throughout the second half of the season. Hitting, you got back on track. Congratulations, you're a champion. And you went from the fifth pick. A lot of people thought you're a potential bust. We saw a lot of those comments in the first half of the season, but obviously it played out well. What do you got to say to everyone around the league? Uh, I want to thank my manager, Carson Rose, for drafting me, and my commissioner, Logan Rose. Uh, thank you, Kamesh, for the great season. And uh, let's repeat it. Yeah. And now, Carson. <laughs> Oh, the trophy pick. Now, Carson, uh, incredible pitching performance. Obviously, like, the best in postseason history. You're making a case for the GOAT conversation now. You've entered that conversation. <coughs> uh, what do you have to say to all the Panthers fans, if there's any, as you guys are kind of the, <laughs> kind of the bad the bad bloods of the league? Um, you can bandwagon. I'm good with that. But, uh, yeah, that's all. All right, and now for the co-MVPs of the 2022 World Series, Soren Etheridge and Carson Rose. We could have picked uh, one yeah. behind both pitching performances and Soren's walk-off and Carson's two go-ahead hits. So congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa.